Very soon we we'll have all the pictures up on Facebook and mm -hmm. so on. Jennifer, let me tell you, I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> we both had great time. Oh, but we didn't time. want to <laughs> play our song. <laughs> we felt that one with the guests at that particular table yes. really was great to start. The parang now yes. start because yes. Our topic is about mind over money. Money. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about Christmas? Yes. The parang now starts, and we've had tons of fun with Utopia, and a lot of us are beginning to get into the season because the radio is playing, mm -hmm. and and you know, Jen, my background is retail, and there is a reason that radio stations ramp up and these stores play. Because yes. once we get into this merriment, we really, the parent starts and it's so easy for us to become our alter ego sort of takeover. And we, all of the discipline and all of the logic and the common sense we use for every mm -hmm. one of the 12 months, we probably wrote six months of common sense <laughs> as when the parent starts. When the parent starts, <laughs> you realize, oh gosh, because it's Christmas. Yes. I know that all of us enjoy Christmas. I'm a Christmas person, right? Oh, I am so a typical so Christmas person. Mm -hmm. And I start checking already what I have to get. So checking my list and checking it twice. Mm -hmm. And for those who just joined, I don't think we introduce ourselves. Oh. Today. <laughs> so I am Jennifer Gibbons Joseph. And I am Terry Ann Joseph Rafford. And this is Connections for the Plus Wednesday Live. Yes. So yes, to continue the discussion, Teria, mm -hmm. this time of the year for me mm -hmm. is a very is, is a festive season. Oh yes, and from very early growing up, you know, from the time November, we started to make that list. The children, what they want for Christmas, yes. Yes. you know, yes. your parents just working out what they have to change. Suddenly, you put in a chair, washing pot. <laughs> Cushions, vanish the claw, him the mm -hmm. step, the ham, the turkey, the chilies, the black king, the new oh. bun, the punch of cram, the 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 rum punch, the black cake, the and you know what? You always hear and the photo tofu. <laughs> and you always hear the song. I don't know where that money coming from. <laughs> All these things we have to do. Where mm -hmm. is that money coming from, Teria? Oh, where did, where did the money go? Yes. <laughs> you know, you start with where did it come from? And then you do, you do, and you have a ball for Christmas, or you pass out because you're too tired and you don't mm -hmm. enjoy Christmas. And then Boxing Day, New Year's Day, or the third of you, the third of January. Boxing Day, after Boxing Day. The third of January. Yes. You said, where the money gone? Because you realize that the Christmas pay occurred before Christmas. And that's what And happened. you have all of January many to survive. Companies, <laughs> many companies, especially government offices, 
get paid early for Christmas. And I believe the reason is not so much of closing off the financial yes. year, <laughs> but paying early to allow their employees to have a, we say have a great Christmas. It means spending it. But Jennifer, do you know where that came from? Where? In the, if we understand our history, mm -hmm. our economic history, we have been a nation of traders and we've always been a nation of traders. Okay. And our history is such that the employees, whether they, they, they have an employee class and an employer class, mm -hmm. in a previous generation, it would have been a worker class and an owner class. Okay. And who owned the shops? Oh. And, who, mm -hmm. and very often, when you follow the map of a dollar, you know they talk about how many times a dollar circulates in a community? Okay. Oh. So very often, because you know the tradition of Christmas is plenty and plenty, the thing is, some groups tend to, the plenty is how much business is coming to me, and other groups is how much of my money I'm giving to you. Oh. Okay. Because the economic cycle is closed. So to maximize the receipt of one group for the Christmas, you pay early. That is why you used to get early. <laughs> no, that's a fundamental but reason. But that makes sense. I understand that. that is a I fundamental understand that. Reason. Because it's time for the business people to make all the money. Exactly. And that is why, you know, as we as we, we said, the param now start. But it is so important for us. Why we have the param in the head and oh listen. Jennifer and I, let us do the declaration. Ain't nobody more Christmas than us. <laughs> let yes. me tell you, my house getting ready put away by the 5th of December. Oh, you see, we have our Christmas. Yes, you see, we, we start. We start. We start. We start. We start. We start. But it is so important to remain conscious. Mm -hmm. and Jennifer, I want to ask you, and I'm asking you this question as a financial coach. You know, we know that we are conscious. We, we know that we have limited resources. I'm talking to the person who has limited resources. But of course, Jennifer, the children, the neighborhood, the house, only the house. What, why, why are they not doing that? We want to fix up. And, 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 and the children, what? Oh, you would know want Zuri and don't give Zuri what you know? want. I mean, the three year old grandchild, and little yes, lady. Jennifer, how? What are we to do to make sure that the mind doesn't send the budget over the cliff so that Christmas ends up being not merry at all? You know, I agree. What is happening to you? Because you get caught up. Mm -hmm. and because, this is your tradition. Eh? This is your tradition. Whether you're poor, you're rich, the tradition is you buy, you buy. And you yes. mentioned earlier you. about the different ads. You can go and get a loan. Um, you can Jennifer, get money up on front. On the and issue of the loan, I want to talk about our little experience that trap. Remember when the loan used to be a five four, a five page form and a I mean it was a little flyer. Well, front and yes, and you complete it. And some of them will tell you you do not have to pay anything until the end of January because they work <laughs> it with when is your next pay. Understanding that all your money is going to be finished. My suggestion, please, mm -hmm. is with all the excitement, Terry, your money is limited. You need to face reality of the situation. And what you should do, especially when it involves family. Yes. Get your family together and mm. say, listen, we are celebrating the Christmas. Huh? Um. So it's not like we're not celebrating, but we have to look to see how we could change up the grocery bill, the gift given. But Jennifer, how does that look? No, it will look great. And let me tell you how. <laughs> let me tell you how. So you separate your your needs. You yes. put it, this is your grocery. Mm -hmm. Grocery bill tend to in most households goes up much higher yes. than the normal monthly yes. bill, a normal monthly yes. grocery. Yes. Because you know you're adding all the and yes. you know we are not listening. You know it going up. 
the olives. So okay, what you look at chow, chow. is to see, okay, we know we involve for those of us who must have the alcohol. Mm -hmm. You just, you're going to have the alcohol, but you'll mm -hmm. have less bottles. Yes. You will have less. Nobody would know you have less bottles. True, All because right? you're getting one drink at a time. And let me give one you this. And, and I may say, I like to use the word mink. Link. But you know, uh, that's a little tip. Yeah, yeah. For those with, with whichever alcohol you have. Yes, yes. You put the half bottle. You do not put out a full bottle. A full bottle. bottle. True, because it ha you will leave when it's done. I'm telling you. So you put out. That's just a tip. But I know it may not go for no, everybody. But, no, but but you see how it will look. If, if you have a how it will look. Some people say how you look. You bring out half bottle. You have to bring out the full bottle. Or if you leave in an end, you can leave an end. Finish it. I would bring out half. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just mentioning that, but yes. because yes. alcohol is a big. Cost, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. You look at you have in everything you know, you just have it in less quantities. quantities. Yes. And watch how we serve it because oh, we serve, we overdo it mm -hmm. because it's Christmas. Yes, you see everything looking good, yeah, it's looking good, but you're not overdoing it. Mm. You stick in with your to your grocery budget, yeah, you know, this is what you can do. I will normally spend, let's say, three thousand mm. dollars on that grocery. Mm. Bill. I can only afford to. Yeah. You make your list. I am not saying remove no, your cake is, or you remove your yet. turkey or remove <laughs> the thing. The other thing you can do, we buy a big ham. Mm -hmm. Some of us buy the big ham and we cut it in half and we may leave it for New Year's and we may leave some. And you may not need, need it for New Year's. Exactly. And you just have it for New Year's. Since you could soul. use half the ham buy for the Christmas, one. buy a smaller ham. Exactly. Right? What you could do, you have a big family, slice the ham. Yes. You slice it and you separate parts. Yeah. If you don't, those young people, or not even the young people, they come and they pull out that ham and you jump the ham. It's you called jump, jump, the jump the up the ham. You have <laughs> guests when your guests come in. Yeah. If you see, because you want to show you. Ah. These are just slight tips. The main thing, Terry is to be aware that you cannot spend that amount of money mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the groceries you cut down. Mm -hmm. That goes for the gift giver. Yeah. Of course, I'm buying a gift for my grand. Yeah. But listen to me. You also, and not everything they want, you get. Yeah. So you yeah, answer, so what do you want? Mm -hmm. Even if it's a bicycle, you don't have to buy his bicycle. You don't have to buy the latest or brand. Or, you buy a good one. Yes. But you shop around. Yes. You shop around and you come here. Yeah. And you, you know, know, Jennifer, the thing about it, I mean, yes, we're in the middle of October, but that grocery bill. In, you know, know, in November. In November. Oh, my goodness. We're in mm. November. You know, the thing is, you can start shopping before. Of course. For the unique Christmas things. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, especially the non-perishable, the, the grocery cans and so on. You know, if you want to cocktail, you want chow chow, you want... Um, Special and they have a lot of specials now again in yes. There's a lot of competition in between the groceries. Yes. Between shop the banks, around. between all, everybody in competition now. You could shop around. Yes. It's important to shop around. It's always important to Terry Ann and families. They can come together and buy in bulk. It yes. depends eh? because there's a, a plus and minus I find about buying mm -hmm. in bulk. Mm -hmm. It yeah. can waste. Depending on, on what, on what it is you yeah. buy. So yeah. look at what you're buying. Yes. You know, maybe sorrel. There are lots of sorrel now coming in. You can buy and freeze. You can freeze. Now, the things that you can freeze before, I never knew you could have frozen those things. You know? So D is awareness. But I still believe if it's for family, get the family together. So they will yes. also be aware. Yes, you're yes, right. Yes. You're getting your gifts, you're getting your you're eating, you're eating your ham, mm. your turkey, and everything. Mm. You're not buying a big turkey. Yes, Terry and I have a small family. I talk about my immediate family. Yeah. They come in, I check it out, and I buy the turkey side, buy the, the turkey, and, side, take and I rest. slice it. I slice yeah. it up. Yeah, it makes no sense because if I buy a big turkey, they say I have a big turkey to put on the table, yes. that's wasted. It's just wasted. And if you have family members that don't eat meat, then mm -hmm. be aware of that. You just waste it. Yeah, you know, and one of the things I think of when we look at the, the 
fuss and the hype. Mm -hmm. Where is the fuss and the hype coming from? What is driving it? The fuss and the hype is really... Let's think about the fuss and the hype happening around the music and everything. But Christmas Day, you come together, it is your family, close it's ones family. around here. Gift opening and so on happens. But the joy really comes from that being near to whoever you call family. Whether it's blood family, neighbor family, friend family, or whatever it is. That is where Can it comes check from. And ask that question. What is Christmas really all about? Because we tend to forget about that and we believe Christmas is about shopping, about the house looking good, about us looking good, about gift giving. But what is the real reason of Christmas? You know, we were chatting before. And we raise this point because we talk about the word budget for Christmas and so on. And we understand that budgets are important in a context of limited resources. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And in a context of where you have to manage what you are doing. But then when we think about, okay, what is the resource that we have which we can use to share Christmas joy, create Christmas joy, mm -hmm. you know? We come from the Roman Catholic tradition, the, the, the issue of stewardship. And there is resources, the treasure, mm -hmm. but there are two other critical ones that cost no money, which is time and talent. And very often we are in the whole hubbub of Christmas and we think it happens in the ball or downtown, oh, yes. or you have to go in the mall at last minute and get that segment. You have to be there. And we don't realize that we can leave the mall at home and go and hang out in the mall, but with some good planning, we could create a lot of gifts for ourselves by simply thinking, all right, what are the talents that I have that I can use to make my Christmas happy and things I can do for myself? But as you were saying, one of the things that I really have a issue with and it's it's, a, it's, a, it's something i'm sensitive about is i understand the need for those who have limited resources but i think very often those of us who are fortunate enough to be not as limited we also need to do some budgeting. oh yes oh yes and don't think too much about self exactly because we are celebrating the birth of christ exactly it is about Charity is it's about only love. About you. It's about the giving, making others' life happy. In that celebration, what we are celebrating is life. Yes. We yes. are celebrating life and we should really want to help others, those who are unfortunate, make their lives happy. If you know sometimes you say only at Christmas they come around, even if it's only at Christmas. Exactly. Start with Christmas then. Start that habit of being charitable, of helping each other then. Exactly. You know, okay. and I think about it and I say, you know, because you have a lot of people who say, yes. oh, I do a lot of charity and I, I give to this home and that home and I am all well and good for it because I do it too. But sometimes there's another type of charity I would want our 50 plus people to pay very serious yeah. attention to this Christmas. When we look around at our society, we talk about the things that are scaring us. Yes. There's crime, there is loneliness, there is people not eating well. Um, you have a lot of our children, um, whether they are abroad, they, they, they may be here, they want to do a course, oh, yeah. they can't afford $500 to pay for the semester. Wow. Um, they may need to go somewhere, they're looking for board rents are expensive. And we, again, this is why I look at your time and your talents. Mm. And for those of us who have, I think it would be a great the connection to the plus tradition. If we just sit back and look around our communities, look within our families, yeah. and see the person who is in need. Now, they may not be impoverished and, and yeah, on the street but, from, but you can do so much to help because to support and definitely from young i've heard charity begins at, at home. home 
right? And I agree with you, for those who could afford, yeah, they tend, it's very easy to give money somewhere. To say, oh, someone need that. Right, check. Yes. It's not And you don't know because you what have is so happening. much surplus. Right. You're yes. not sure what is happening there. But giving of yourself and your time is a different thing. Yes. You know? And at your home, even you're doing Christmas time. Now, I know you have to be very careful mm -hmm. who you bring into your home. You don't have to bring in strangers. But you don't they have to bring in strangers. Right. Mm -hmm. What you can do, and it all depends on, on your talent. And you mentioned your talent. You can go out, and I know some groups do that. Yeah. You go out to, the, to different homes. You go, you know, you may be in a choir. You sing for them. You create your own type of, of gifts if you can mm -hmm. bake well. You make these small caves. Mm -hmm. If not, you, you buy sweets and you put it in a cup. You know, there are what so many things you can do what and about? be there. And you mentioned, sorry, let me just yeah, finish this. Ahead. You mentioned helping others. It can mm -hmm. be done through, when you, when you say, you know, when I say gift certificate, I'm not meaning to buy a gift. Mm -hmm. But that person, as you said, may need to do some course within your own family, yeah? You know, you yes. talk about gifts given within yes. your own family. Yes. You give them yes. something that is useful and could empower them. Somebody you know, for the, for the whole year. It don't have to be for that Christmas you day for the whole niece. year who just got a job in, in marketing somewhere, give us a certificate to do a course in conversational Spanish yeah. because in this, we need to do that, you know? So that sort of support, and you're starting at Christmas. And it can continue. And it will continue. You so know? look at, we have to be, think out of the box. Don't Absolutely. think self. Absolutely. Don't think that, okay, it's Christmas, let me just buy a little gift. No. You could buy a cologne or you could buy, no. And it doesn't mean that because they've asked for it. You they can say, you know it. what, instead of I giving you this, I prefer give you something mm -hmm. or even my time. Mm -hmm. You know, come by me on a, on, a, on a weekend or when I'm free, let me help you with something. And Jennifer, let another me. part of that is, and I think we both in our tradition had it, Charmaine at our last we talked about it when she was talking about how she socializes. And she talked about family get-togethers as a oh, way yes. of training and teaching the young ones. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I have a 20-year-old and a 27-year-old. And I don't know, I know for sure that I am not as strict in having them be of service to others as my parents were to me. Mm -hmm. Because they they have their agendas and their time yes. and stuff. Even if you can do something, you know you can tell your child, go and help this person for three of hours. Of course, well, I, I grew up like that. Yeah. So of course, go yeah. and have this person for three hours. So you know we we have this thing about Christmas and budget and and we believe Christmas money and all the money has to go to a store. We're to taking our ourselves to the store, to the, the, the curtain store, the grocery, the liquor store, the ham store, the, the clothes store, the shoe store, and Lord Amazon um, and DHL making money because it's trinkets. Yeah. And we are not realizing that we are not using our resource, our treasure, to really expand and enhance and enrich our lives and other persons lives too. and Ours people close to us and people, and people close to us because mm -hmm. we are just sending the money out to a different space it's almost like throwing it in the air up in cyberspace because come the 15th of january yeah 30 days again before the next payday and it, where all the money going well you know, it, it it doesn't make Terry Ann, yesterday I met a friend at the bank, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure, maybe she's online listening. Yes, yes. And I said, why are you here? You know, because mm -hmm. she was look, wasn't in the line. And she said, no, I brought my friend's mom to the bank. And she's 91. Mm -hmm. My friend lives overseas, and I said I would do that. And you know what she said to me? I take pleasure. I love doing it because she said, I know I would get old one day. And as long as I live to that age, 
I would also like to know that some someone ladies. who I can trust will do the same for me. I think you forget and that it, this and life is a cycle. And I'm mm -hmm. saying that is something she does all the time, yes. right through. Yes. Yes. But if you start with that from Christmas time and you look for something, as I say, it could be a family member or close friend. I'm not sending you out to a stranger. No. And you commit. It may be different things, huh? Maybe just taking them to the grocery or just visiting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you start with that. You develop that habit from them. It would give you so much joy. You know, and we talk that about be conversation. Christmas. Think about it. If we sit down, mm -hmm. because now we are at the 15th? No, we're not going to be 15th yet. We don't know the day today. We sit down and we say, if we have a conversation with mm -hmm. our immediate family, and we talk about what you want and what you need, and we ask every member of the family, who can we bring into our Christmas abundance? Yes. You know, and how can we bring them in? Just that simple question. And I think, I think that if we were to think if your Christmas budget is $5,000, let's say $3,000 for groceries and other $3,000 for curtains, because I mean, when you, you stand up at some of the things and you see the bills, people racking up. And listen, we said this to nobody more Christmas than Jennifer yes. and I. But I could we not say so, mingling what Christmas. What I share is what I actually do. Yes. Um, you know what I like? Mm -hmm. About the getting together as a family. Yes. You mentioned how they can think what they can do. Mm -hmm. I will add to that. What are they willing to give up? Yes. To help somebody else. Yes. So, for instance, instead of buying, and for those who are yeah, adults, they're working and they have to think a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, instead of buying two pairs of sneakers or, or whatever, say, okay, I'm giving up one. Mm -hmm. And that, whatever it is, I'm going to give it to someone yeah. who is in need. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you're putting out more money. You're doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing, but you're giving up. You, you, you decide this is what I'm giving up. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I, I would say I love that idea. And I would say that we would go over here 654, 655. <laughs> Already. Oh my God. I, I would really love if we look at our connections with the bus because we are saying there are three platforms for us. Oh, yes. We are saying we're going another adult lifetime 30 years, mm -hmm. and we've got to know how we're monetizing it and making money. The flip side of that is conserving money, yes. So you might be able to make a whole lot of money, but you have to conserve money. We also talk about your own well being, all right? How are you mentally, physically? You know, in terms of Christmas, you make a beautiful meal, invite someone to share your good heart, and they yeah. meal. Or when you buy the potato groceries because you couldn't control yourself and we understand. You buy four bottles of rum, you could do a treat. You buy wine, you buy all kinds of stuff. Just from your country, you can make a beautiful little hamper yes. for a family and share in that way. And, and you too. have someone to take care of themselves. And the third platform for us is when we started last week with Utopia social go out yes. join together there may be an old uncle or old cousin you bring them together yes bring them in the neighbor across so it's not a stranger it's just somebody yeah. you say hi to or whatever it is even if they don't come for the lunch where everybody is you can tell them come for half our christmas evening or go and visit oh, them terry Ann, christmas time because of the tradition it's a very lonely time for many, many Because people. everybody downtown and in the mall. It's a very lonely thing. Yes. So it's important for you to identify your friends or family members who don't go out. Yes. Now, there are people who will say they don't celebrate Christmas. But they're there with everybody else enjoying themselves. And we're not here in the, in the, that it is a Christian tradition. It is a time of year where yeah, people... Yeah reach out to people so I just like we celebrate the wedding that is it we celebrate it. eid we celebrate 
shelters so, to celebrate everything. Yeah. So I'm not getting because I understand there are mm -hmm. certain religions mm -hmm. that don't celebrate. We are not there. Mm -hmm. But think of those who are celebrating but still home alone because everybody around them celebrated. Yeah. You can go have a chat with them. People who have lost you can... loved ones. You know, so it, it will be, we will go such a long way. Yes. Week. In, you see this mind over money and the budget? Remember, our budget is not only about our money. Mm -hmm. Our budget is for our time. It is for our talent. And when we are budgeting and we are thinking of who do we benefit, please let's remember, we have to be part of our community. This country will only get better if the community gets better. And, and that starts in families, in neighborhoods, in communities. So that, I think, if we really do that. And what, again, Terrya, so we're talking mind over money, but it's also changing your mindset. Changing your mindset from the money mindset at Christmas time, spending, spending, from spending, spending, giving the money back to who gave it to you. To change that, <laughs> that Don't mindset. Don't give it back to who gave it to you. <laughs> understanding that Terian said is about big business. It is that right. Is, so while I gave want, you the money, hand yeah. it back to me, please. So while we want to enjoy ourselves, and I'm saying, buy your ham, buy your oh, turkey, yeah, buy yeah, all yeah, the things yeah, after. But buy a smaller ham, a smaller turkey. If you know, I take back the, the drinkers will say, Jan, for no, 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 half bottle or no, all right, put the bottle, put the bottle. <laughs> but when it's done, it will bring out the next one, you know. But yes, control <laughs> the main thing is control, be aware. You yes. can, you put slices of turkey or ham on the yes. table, nobody you know is a half a ham you have in the, in the fridge. But Jennifer, you know, even if. You're buying the kototo ham. You're buying the 20 pound turkey. You're buying eight cases of carry back, 20 bottle of rum. And you're making punch a cramp for me. You're buying some of the and you make it every day. Give away some. <laughs> give, give some. Away, some share it. Share it. Share it. Go around and invite <laughs> more people. Share it. <laughs> so, Terry Ann, this is it already. This Mind over money, money at yes. Christmas. But listen. Me. Christmas budget of me. your time. Your talent and your treasure. Don't only budget your treasure. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, again, at this stage, but I want to leave with a little song. Yes. <laughs> you know? So, we're saying bye. And from next week, we will continue. And yes. we're talking about oh, the legacy. So we really are taking it for us. We're going to have, we're going to have somebody here with us yes. where we talk about how we make this legacy. So, when yeah. the parents start, we can continue. <laughs> you know? And this is great being with you all. We love this season. Yes. So, we're going to be chatting, but getting into more serious yes. helping you how you prepare. And we don't have your lipstick there. So, thank you for being here thank next you. week. And important week, we are going to be talking about how do we make this haram last for longer than this season. Because yes. have a money manager with us. Oh, yes. <laughs> so thanks again. And at this stage, we say bye. <laughs>